Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I got most of the frame already uh, stripped down to bare metal. I got to finish stripping it down to bare metal and then uh, I'll be ready for primer. Uh, firewall. Still needs a little bit more work. I made these uh, metal templates because I was going to wall in these holes. So I think I'm going to wall this one in. This one's going to stay open and this one needs to stay open. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to install my uh, Autotronic Eye. So I already have the, the markings for the Autotronic Eye. Right here. So I'm going to get everything ready and uh, install it. And this is an Autotronic Eye. What it does is um, when you're driving with your high beams um, and there's a car coming down the opposite direction, It'll automatically um, lower the headlights to your low beam, and that's what a Autotronic Eye does. So I'm gonna be uh, drilling the hose, installing that. I won't be doing the wiring until I'm ready to uh, rewire the whole car, and that's when I'll do the wiring on the Autotronic uh, dashboard. Is almost ready for paint. I was just wait, uh, waiting on my Autotronic. Now that I got that, uh, I'm going to drill those holes, finish the body on the dashboard, and I'm going to start painting the dashboard. Start getting some color on this car. So uh, let me get my drill together, my stuff together, and show you guys how to drill out these holes. Type pin, that was for the smaller hole. So I'm not sure if uh, that... That one was big enough. If not, I might have to make it a little bit bigger, but we'll find out. So, so the one for the wire, we might have to make that hole a little bigger because both. Uh, why is he going to fit? And we need to make the other one also bigger. So we need to make them a little bigger. this one. Alright, so the so the middle one's for the wires. So um, we made it a little bit bigger, so now we can run both wires through the dashboard. So there's one more. Uh, so uh, there's the Autotronic installed. Um, that's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like installed. I looks like I still have to do uh, one more hole. So it's not sitting uh, straight yet because I still have to bolt it down. Um, and adjust it. Um, so we still got to do some adjustments to it. I just noticed this little pin right here in the front. You got this big pin back here. This pin here. But you also have another one here. So I'm going to have to drill another small hole on top of this big hole. So, so it's a total of, uh, it's a total of uh, four holes. So this is for the bolt to bolt on the Autotronic. 
this hole here is for the for the wires to run the wires through the dashboard. This little hole here is just um, it's just to line up the the autotronics like a pin for a pin. But I just realized we have another pin right here in the front. So I already have the marking here, which left like a little bit. So I will draw another hole there for the autotronic. But um, other than that it looks good. So it's not sitting flush too because I have to draw that other hole. But that's an autotronic for 1953, 1954. They both share this, um, a lot of the parts. A lot of the parts are similar. Um, this is one of the things that was holding me back from starting to paint the dashboard. Uh, plus, I had to cover the hole there where the bundle spots at. Somebody installed a, a hardtop uh, mirror, which their convertible um, takes the mirror originally up here in the pillar. So, I want to put the original mirror where it belongs instead of putting the hardtop one. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like the hardtop mirror. I like the way it looks on the dashboard, but it's not correct for the convertible. And I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to get all the options and correct parts for this car um, as much as possible. Um, it will have some semi-custom work done to it, but that's just my flavor. But it will be fully accessorized. It will have every option that came in 1953. Um, so stay tuned for my future videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, hit like. Write a comment if you have any questions. Um, if you're also building a car like this and I can help, um, send me a message, uh, write a comment. I'd be gladly to help you. And um, don't forget to subscribe once again. I'm going to end my video here and uh, I will draw that extra hole to make sure my Autotronic is on there correct. What it does is um, when you're driving with the high beams, it automatically lowers the high beams to low beams when there's a car coming the opposite way.